why don't one of us go see? Okay, I'll be back in a week. No, he'll be right back. He'll be right back. Here, yeah, look, Joe, you all ready? All right, I just said. There they go. Here we go. Oh. I'm all right. I'm all right. Don't worry. Oh, my. Go get him! Well, you think we made the first flight to the moon and back. And after every show, the crowds get bigger. Yeah, remember when I used to be a scared of crowds? Uh. No more. I like them. They're only people. That's nice. <laughs> Hark! Someone's knocking at the door. Answer it. Answer it. All righty. Oh, hi, Eddie. Well, hello, Eddie. What's happened to you? It took three cops and a squad of ushers to get us into the theater. Boys, I'd like you to meet Miss Lorelei. How do you do? Hello, Miss Lorelei. How do you do? <laughs> Oh, that's our boy, the biggest agent in town and the easiest laugher. Here, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Lorelei, I want you to meet them, my mom and pop. How do you do? I'd like you to meet my mom and pop. They ain't here. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Lorelei's doing a story for the American Weekly. Oh. You boys seem to have more fun than the customers. Oh, we do. Isn't it wonderful when people love their work? The food is ready. Oh, can I fix you a sandwich? No, I'll just take some notes. That's not very nourishing. Here, why don't you try some of this terrific corned beef and salami now, and... about my story. Oh, yes, well, sit yes, right down here and we'll find out just how everything came about. Now, how long have you been in the business? About 12 years. 12 years, and where were you born? Scranton. Scranton? Oh, that is a coincidence. Were you boys born in Scranton? No. <laughs> Is this your first engagement at the Paramount? Oh, I don't work here. Then what are you doing here? I came to get an interview from you. Well, you better hurry up. We're almost on, dear. Now, what would you like to know? Hey, fellas, two minutes. Two minutes? What two happened minutes. to the time? You and Pop, you want to go in the wings and watch the show? Did you leave course, the props sure. on the piano on the last show? Come on, boy. What about the horns, Joe? What else do we have we to do? We don't play? use the horns this show. Oh, well, hold these, Mama. Come on, Miss Laura, lie with us. But I want to know how you boys got together. Well, what about it? Well, what do you expect to do next? Oh, well, we're going to play some more theaters and keep working, that's all. Come on, this way. Come on, Julian. Oh, come on, over here. Come on. Come on. Right. Jump, come down. on. Right. Jump. Come on. Jump. Come on. Come on. That's oh, a good. I am oh, no, no, no. ready, Dad. What are you afraid of? Oh, well, we're on. You enter from that side. And you enter from that side. And you ready, Mr. Anthony? I sure am, Mr. Miller. Here we go. Right, Joe. Oh. So here he is, Harvey Miller. <laughs> Thrilled we are, ladies and gentlemen, be appearing here at the uh, Paramount Theater. And uh, how nice it is to see all you nice people. I could stay out here for hours, but the Italian street singer is getting old. So I would like to introduce my buddy, pal, and partner, Mr. Joe Anthony. Here he is. <laughs> Don't you want me to sing a song? Oh, yeah, but I thought you and I could do a song to get a boat. To get a boat? Yeah, wouldn't that be splendid? <laughs> That would be peachy. Oh, shall we do one? Yes. Oh, thank you, great white father. What would you do without me? What would you do, boy? What would you do without me when I'm gone? I'd sell my car and hunt my ring and go right out and hire a bing. That's what I'd do without you. That's what I'd do. But tell me, what would you do without me? What would you do, boy? What would you do without me when I'm gone? I'd have no trouble replacing you. I'd just go down to the nearest zoo. That's what I'd do without you. That's what I'd do. We will be just, just like brothers, brothers, you and I. I'm for you. I'm for me. And, and I love, love you till I die. die. Oh, what would you do without me? What would you do, boy? What would you do without me when I'm gone? And I need some dough You're always telling me where to go See, what would you do without me? What would you do? Just like brothers, you and I, I'll go east, I'll go west, and, and I'll, I'll love you till I die. die. Oh, 
What would you do without me? What would you do, boy? What would you do without me when I'm gone? I've been your stooge and been your clown. Who picks you up when you are down? Who has ten bucks and gives you nine? Who sticks by you come rain or shine? Who's always taking it on the chin? Who's always there? Loser win. Who's always been a regular guy? I'll I love, love you till I die. die. Oh, what would you do without me? What would you do? Then it must be Mr. Miller's family has the theatrical background. No, no, but uh, you ask me, I tell you. When Harvey is young, his papa is number one golf champion in the whole country. One day, it was the final match. Father and son tournament. Harvey Miller Sr. wanted his son to be great golf champion too and follow in his footprints. Kavish. I'll do my best, Dad. I'm sorry, Dad, I missed the cup. <laughs> that is a great drive, Harvey. Thank you. <laughs> Remember, Earth, there are only people. What's the matter with you? Hit it! Those people are staring at me, Dad. Don't look at them, look at the ball. Look at the ball? Yes! <laughs> now, what's the matter? It looked back. Now, Harvey, hit that ball. Hit it! 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 Now, what about your son, Mr. Anthony? Oh, well, I feel like Harvey's papa. I want Joe to follow my footprints. Jump in, Joe. We're going to cast off. Pop, I don't want to fish anymore. I get seasick. You're crazy. Your grandpapa don't get seasick. Your papa don't get seasick. You don't get seasick. I don't feel so good already. But, Joe, we don't leave the dock yet. Here, you eat something, you'll feel better. Ah, Pop. You may be the sickest fisherman in the ocean, but you're going to be a fisherman. Look, Pop, you can't treat me like a kid any longer. I'm grown up. From now on, I'm going to stand on my own two feet, but on dry land. Back! Joe! Joe! Back here, Joe! 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 Four years later, Joe is a big boy, but his sea leg's no good. He want to try his land legs. So he leave a home to take all kind of jobs. He work very hard, but he don't like a digging deep. Anthony, you're through. You sure? I'm sure. And the boss is always picking on him. Joe finally know just what he want to do in life. I want to go home to San Francisco. How about it? Hop in. He was a plenty smart. In 40 years, Harvey grow up into a big boy, too. He hoped someday to marry my daughter Lisa. But that gone. It was still in his blood. What time is it, Mr. Fisher? Two minutes to 12, Harvey. Wow. Miller. Yes, Mr. Baxter? Take lunch one hour later today. Oh, but Skip. But, Mr. Baxter, I got tickets to see... No buts, Miller. Your lunch is at one o'clock. Lisa... Harvey, did Mr. Baxter speak to you? Yeah, come on, we're going to lunch. Oh, but, Harvey, we can't, Mr. Baxter. I don't care what Mr. Baxter said, Lisa. We got tickets to see Ben Hogan play, and we're going to see him play now. Oh, come on. But... Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Wendell Niles bringing you a play-by-play -play account of the San Francisco. It's a beautiful California day, and everybody's having a wonderful time. Ben Hogan is stepping up to the ball now. There's the backswing. The ball is in the air, and it's beautiful. It's underneath that hole. It's funny, Lisa. Crowds don't seem to bother Mr. Hogan. I don't want to be a killjoy, Harvey, darling, but I'm worried about our jobs at the store. You know how Mr. Baxter is about employees taking too much time for lunch. Harvey, I'm worried about Mr. Baxter. Why, is he shot yet? Mr. Baxter, our boss, who could fire you, just like all the other Mr. Baxters in your life and then we'll never be able to get married. I don't worry about money, Lisa. I better hold two weeks' salary on Mr. Hogan. Now, Harvey, you didn't. Shoot right through that clump of trees or under a low-hanging bough. What a tough break for Benny. How about us? Two weeks' salary. Harvey, what are we gonna do? 
Come with me, Lisa. Give me a nine iron, please. Mr. Hogan. <laughs> Mr. Hogan, this is a very important shot to me. And to me. Well, this is a very fast green, Mr. Hogan, and you're going to need a lot of backspin, so I suggest you use your wedge. Well, if you don't mind, I'll use the nine iron. I just thought I'd mention it. Uh, my name is Harvey Miller, Jr. How are you, Harvey? Uh, fine. How are you, Mr. Hogan? How's the family? <laughs> fine, thank you. And that's swell. Well, come on, son. Let Mr. Hogan shoot. All right. That's a wet shot, Mr. Hogan. <laughs> you see what I mean, Mr. Hogan? You're so right. You see, I played this course many times with my dad. And I'll tell come you on, the green... Come on, Mr. Hogan. You're making me... Just push the clock back a little bit so old Skinhead won't know. But old Skinhead does know. Well, don't tell. Mr. Baxter! <laughs> Miller! Uh, yes, Mr. Baxter, we're having a terrific run on birds today. Birds? Badminton birds. Yeah, Miller, why? Why did you take three hours for lunch? Well, you see, Mr. Baxter, I go to this terrific little restaurant in Dallas, Texas. <laughs> Now, Texas! Get it! Miss Anthony. Yes, Mr. Baxter. You're fired. Oh, 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 Mr. Baxter! Good afternoon, Mr. Johnson. Hello, Harvey. It's a nice day, ain't it, Mr. Johnson? Yes, it is, Harvey. Now, <laughs> Watch where you were going, boy. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Phillips. I guess I was going where I wasn't looking. Miller! Oh! Look out! Help! Help! Put that ladder back here, you, you, you skinny... Somebody get that ladder! Ah! Get that ladder! Get that Sorry now, ain't it, Baxter? <laughs> we, we were just having a little fun. You were having a little fun, skinhead. <laughs> skinhead. <laughs> it's a different story now. The shoe's on the other foot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you had your chance then, Baxter. No, oh, now, Miller! Mr. Baxter! <laughs> ah! oh. oh, I'm sorry. You look just like a rhinoceros. <laughs> Wait, I, I did it, and I, I'll fix it. Here. Ah, no. Miller! One, one second, yeah. Mr. Baxter. Yeah, Miller! Yeah, no, it's all right. Miller, Miller! No, I've got it. No, just up here. It's yeah. fine. Miller! Just, uh, I'm going to... I'm going to get it now. Miller! Here it comes, Mr. Baxter. All right. <laughs> we got it, didn't we? That wasn't so hard, now, was it? <laughs> Mr. Baxter! Get off those feet! Miller!
Dexter. Yes? I'd like to give my two weeks notice. Well, that'll be... Get out. Harvey. Yeah? Where's that winning smile? Come on, let's see that dimple. No, I'm no good for anything, Lisa. I'll never smile again. Harvey Miller, is there any way to talk? It's the only way I know how. Look, all great men have had to go through bad times. You've read about them in books. Then when you're famous, why, you'll, you'll look back and laugh. Ha, ha, ha. Just say I'm no good for anything. I let you down. Go ahead. OK. Harvey Miller, you're no good for anything. You've let me down. Gee, it sounds awful when you say it. I wish my brother Joe was here. He's had a lot of experience in business, and he could help you find yourself. I ain't even looking for myself. All I know is golf. And I sure wish I could forget it. Hey. What? Why forget it? Huh? Teach it. Why, with all you know about golf, you'd be a cinch to open a school. You can stand people one at a time, can't you? Yeah. Gee, that's a good idea, Lisa. Boy, if I ever amount to anything, You'll be the woman behind the man that made the man behind the gun. Love the woman behind the man behind the gun. <laughs> I got carried away. Good night, Harvey. Good night, Lisa. Good night, Lisa. You know what? The first thing in the morning, I'm going to get organized. Good night, Lisa. Good night, Harvey. the church for February, but she can postpone it again. Maybe she won't... Maybe she won't have to once I get my school started. That's right, Harvey. Uh -huh. Good night, Harvey. Oh, excuse me. I got carried away again. Thanks a lot, pal. Don't make too much noise. Don't want to wake the folks. I haven't been home in years. bed. Excuse me. Hey! Uh, Tonight, Lisa. Ma! 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 Pop! 
Lisa! Ciò! E mamma è ritornata! Ciò! Ciò è ritornata! Shhh! You know there's somebody in this house? You wait, I'll get my harpoon oh, gun. Come on, let's go. Oh, quick, no. I found him in my bed. He looks funny. Oh, no, John, what's he? I don't know who he is. Shh. That's it. Oh, that's Harvey. It's Harvey. Harvey? Get away from home, so we rent him your room, Joe. Yes, he's a nice boy. Sure, he's a nice boy. Come on, we'll fix Joe something to him. Yes, yes. Harvey. Oh, I've seen this before. Good night, Harvey. Not me. Good night, Lisa. Lisa, what is that? Better get used to him, Joe. He's going to be your brother-in-law. Oh, that's nice. My brother-in-law? Va bene, va Look, bene. You want some coffee? Va bene, you coffee. Real bravo. hot coffee, huh? You want me mom? Who makes better coffee than mom? Huh? Nobody. <laughs> Papa, some Here you are, all finished. It's just like new. Here, you, you try it on. Eh? All right. Ah. There we go. It look good, mom. Very look nice. Very good. Oh, good? Nice, huh? nice. Oh, mom, she's a good to have Joe back, huh? Oh, <laughs> Now you're home, Joe. We've got to throw all these tables out. <laughs> Pop, here's five bucks. Buy yourself a new pipe. Oh, sure. But, Mama, you, you could buy a new dress, huh? Hey, by the way, Pop, what does Harvey do for a living? Oh, he's a good boy. He's in a working now. See? Now take the club back, slow and easy. You should keep your head down, Lisa. Oh. Now swing straight out and follow through. Will you please keep your head down. Let me show you, Lisa. You stand over there. Ten thousand dollars. Hey, what's going on here? Hey, what are you doing? Harvey's going to be a golf instructor. I'm his first pupil. Oh, Harvey, this is my brother Joe. Oh, hello, Joe. Hi, Harvey. Hey, you're pretty good. Oh, thanks. He's wonderful. Yeah, but why teach? Why don't you play? You ever read the sports sections? You can make a lot of money in those tournaments. Torn, torn, torn. Tournaments, tournaments. Torn, tournaments. No, I, I can't play in front of people. Oh, no, people make him very nervous. He, he's high strung. Yes, I'm strung very high. Well, you won all those trophies, didn't you? Oh, no, those were my fathers, Harvey Miller Sr. He was a great golfer. Are these your fathers? Oh, no, those are my baby shoes. Oh, you won these? No, I wore them. You wore them? Yeah, I never won anything. I tighten up. Oh, Harvey, you shouldn't tighten up. You gotta relax. Don't be jerky. I can't help it. Wow! Wow! Joe, you're good, you too. You think I spent all my time in pool rooms? You're a natural, just like my dad. He won $5,000 at Pinehurst, and $7,000 at Tam O'Shanter, and $20,000 at Inverness. And besides that, there's sporting goods companies with endorsements and exhibition games. Go ahead. I'm out of breath. You'd make a wonderful combination. Yeah, and there's a tournament opening in Santa Barbara in a couple of weeks. You could be the player, and I could be the caddy. There's a $500 prize. She did it buy us a lot of furniture. It would mean work, work, and more work. You have to bear down. You know, I think you're running a fever. I'm no golfer. All you have to do is practice. Ma? Ma? What are you so button on for me? Ah! Hey, Harvey, hurry up with the cake. Yeah, hurry up. <laughs> What's going on here? It says, welcome.
home, Joe. Amore. That means... Love. It's Italian. How'd you know? I used to work here. <laughs> Think back in the day. He used to work here. <laughs> home uh, from your triumphal tour, Joe? And this time is for good, too. Joe, like old time, you sing a song for Mama, Oh, see? no, Mom, not in front of all oh. these people. Joe, you sing it for Mama. <laughs> in Napoli, where love is king, when boy meets girl, here's what they sing. <laughs> When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's a more When the world seems to shine like you had too much wine, that's a more Bells will ring, ting a ling a ling, ting a ling a ling, and you'll sing Vita Bella. Bravo, John! Hearts will play tippy tippy tay, tippy tippy tay, like a gay darandella. Lucky fella. When the stars make you drool, just like Buster Basil, that's amore. When you dance down the street with a cloud at your feet, you're in love. When you walk in a dream, but you know you're not dreaming, signora. Mama! Excuse me, but you see back in old Napoli, that's Zamora. If you still kiss your girl after garlic and oil, that's Zamora. That's Zamora. If you call her your pet, though she's shaped like spaghetti, that's Zamora. That's Zamora. Bells will ring. Ting a ling a ling, ting a ling a ling. Sing me to Bella. Vita Bella, Vita Bella. Hearts will play. Tippy, tippy, day, tippy, tippy, day. Like a gay darandella. Darandella. When the stars make you drool, just like a pasta fazool. That's amore. That's amore. When you dance down the street with the cloud at your feet, you're in love. You're in love. When you walk. In a dream, but you know you're not dreaming. And you're Excuse me, but you see back in old Napoli. That's a movie. Tutte quante cantano, everybody sing. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's a more. That's a more. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's a more. That's a more. When you walk in a dream, but you know you're not dreaming. Eh, signore, che tu vuoi? Prendilo. Scusami, but you see back in old Napoli, that's amore. Signore, that's amore. Oh, You eat. You eat. I got to make an important announcement. Tonight, I tell you, is the finest night in the whole life of me and Mama. Like my papa and me, soon there's gonna be another fisherman in the family. Ah, see? Congratulations, Mama. Do you feel all right? <laughs> oh, Arn! Oh, you're yeah, but Come on, eh? But it's <laughs> We're gonna have back with us the second most finest fisherman in all California, eh? My son, Joe. Oh. But last night I got to thinking, old boat, not big enough for two big fishermen like us. So I talked to Mr. Spezzato this afternoon, and I'm proud to say he sold me the Santa Claus. I give up a good trade in, Joe. What's the matter, Captain? All we owe is $500 cash. 500 bucks? Well, Pop, why don't you ask me first? But you come home. You stop running around the country like a hobo, you come home for good, no? Well, even if I did, 
I don't want to be a fisherman. So what are you going to do? I'm going to play golf. He's going to play golf. Golf? Oh, what's a golf? What's a golf? I mean, what's golf? <laughs> you hit a little ball with a stick. You don't want to be a fisherman, huh? You want to hit a little ball with a stick. Why? There's a lot of money in it. Sure, Pop. If I win a couple tournaments, I could fish for 10 years and never make that kind of money. And I bet you never heard of Ben Hogan. He won $10,000 in two days at Pinehurst. You want to make a living hitting a little ball with a stick? And Harvey's father won $20,000 at Inverness. And Jimmy Thompson won $5,000 at Tamar Shander. Oh, they won all this money. Huh? For what? For hit a little ball with a stick. Harvey. Well, that's what he said. Well, he knows how to say it. Papa, Joe could be a great goal. See, huh? I can see it all now. We're on the course at Pinehurst. There's a thousand people following us. We're ready to tee off on the last hole. Now I hand Joe the club. He walks up to the ball very nonchalantly. He takes aim. He swings. And it's a screamer right down the fairway. Four! Then I hand him his nibbling. What's nibbling? Uh, that's a little sticker. Now he hits the ball right up on the green. It's about 25 feet from the cup. Now if he sinks this, he beats Hogan. He'll be the new champ. He aims, he puts, and the ball is going right for the cup. It's at the cup, and it rims the edge and goes around and around and around and around. But it doesn't go in. It don't go in. But wait, Hogan putts. He hits his ball, and it knocks Joe's ball right into the cup. It's in, it's in, we won. So no, we won. He's my son, no? <laughs> And they take him up to the judges' stand, and they give him his trophy. He's the new champion. Then they present him with a $10,000 check. I take it. And Pop, I give you some money. You uh -huh. pay off the new boat. I buy Mama mink. And then you two send your kids to Harvard. <laughs> They'll be doctors. <laughs> you trying to kill me, Joe? Here we are, Joe. Let's go in the register. Okay with me. Hey, dig this rug. They really live it up here, huh? Well, yeah, my dad used to take me to all these places when I was a kid. And he said it's very important to socialize, so mix, mingle. Hello. Hello. Hi. Names, please? Uh, this is Joe Anthony, and I'm Harvey Miller, Jr. Joe Anthony. Yes, entered from San Francisco. Uh-huh. But I, I don't see any Harvey Miller, Jr. No. Oh, well, that's right. Joe's the player. I'm his caddy. The caddy house is next door, son. Oh, yes. Thank oh, you. Oh, wait a minute. We're partners. If he can't stay, I don't stay. Oh, well, no, Joe. Uh, excuse me just a second. No, Joe, don't worry about me. I'll be all right. We caddies have an awful lot of fun together. And, and you belong here, and I belong there. We'll be together. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Caddy house is that way. You told me before. I better go along with him. Take my word for it. He'll be all right. Come on, I'll introduce you around. Mr. Anthony, Bruce Reber. Oh, yeah. Hi. Gaston Laurent. How do you do, Mel? Sidney Benthall. How do you do? Jonathan Preen and Harry Bell. How are you? Hi. I'm Kathy Taylor. Hi. Uh, Mr. Anthony is from San Francisco. Well, say, if you're from San Francisco, you must know Ted Kohler of Kohler, Heisler, and Dodge. I don't. Oh, but you must if you play at the Bay City Country Club. I don't. What club do you represent up there? None. I know now. You played in the Phoenix Open, didn't you? No. Anthony, Anthony, San Francisco. What business is your family in? Fish. Importing or exporting? Catching. I beg your pardon. I would like to know if I could... I, I, I beg your pardon. I would... I beg your pardon! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I would like to know if I can have a locker. Hey, you're quite a tomboy, aren't you? <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Well, sticks and stones will break my bones and names will never harm me. Could I have a locker? Yeah, down that way, buddy. Thank you, sir. You're a gentleman. Thank you. Come on, we got a pigeon. Come on.
Well, look at Skinny Boy. <laughs> Is it you a get lie? Out of here. Oh, no, right. that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Buddy, you got a towel? Somebody took mine. Oh, thanks. You got awful small caddies here. <laughs> I got soap in my eyes. I went over to get some water, and there wasn't any. <laughs> it's murder when you get soap in your eyes, and you can't get the, the, the water that washed it, and I'm in my... Under the... Where? Young man. I know it's this way. <laughs> Tuned in late. This is Tom Harmon reporting on the Santa Barbara Open with Joe Anthony. Again, Pop, I told you we need a new one. You wait. I make a pick. Smart like a chop. Joe Anthony approaches the ball. It's Kenny down behind the ball, lining it up on his stomach. <laughs> he goes over to the golf bag. Gets wait one second, Joe. He starts Take to it brush easy. the path <laughs> to the cup, Harvey. To get out of the way, Harv. Anthony waits very patiently. <laughs> he's now by the hole and he's lining up the... It's about two feet on your right. Don't be nervous. He approaches the ball. He putts. There it goes. It's rolling, rolling. It goes round and, and round and in. <laughs> Nice going, Anthony, old boy. Nice putt, Joe. Congratulations. Yeah, we'll see you at the party, Kathy. I'll be there. Oh, Mr. Anthony, won't you join us at the party? Well... No? Yes. Hey, Joe, you are absolutely... Oh, very nice officialing, sir. Yes, will you get out of here? Oh, all right. I don't want to disturb anything, Joe, so I'll see you back in the mo... at the home. <laughs> he thought I was going to say motel. <laughs> Goodbye, Harvey. Nice round, Mr. Anthony. Congratulations. Thank you. Give us one more, Joe. Turn on the charm, Mr. Anthony. Give him the full force of your personality. Welcome home, champ. Wonder who that's for. Oh, that's for Joe. We gotta celebrate, don't we? Joe, hi! Hi. Mmm, -hmm, that smells good. It is a good. Just like Mama makes. She taught me. For Joe. Hey, what is this? Open it up, Joe. Oh, new cat. Oh, that was my dad's. But it's yours now. Thanks. Uh, try it on.
Fits just like a glove. It sure does. Thanks, Harvey. Well, that's okay. And here's something else. I want you to have this. My dad won this at Inverness. And you know the old saying, money comes to money. Maybe cups will come to cups. Thank you. That's all right. Yeah, but I have a party. Yeah, tonight. it is sort of like a party, Joe. And I got the wide noodles you like so well. No, you shouldn't have gone all this trouble. Oh, it's all right, Joe. A, a man that's under pressure should have things he likes. And it's good for the stomach, too. And after this, we'll have a couple of scoops of that terrific chocolate crunch ice cream. We'll hit the sack. Yeah, but Kathy Taylor invited me to the club dance. Kathy Taylor? Kathy Taylor. Oh, that nice girl from the country club. Uh-huh. Oh, yes. Oh, no. You can't go out, Joe. You're in training. Well, all the other fellas are gone. Well, gee, Joe, I'm supposed to be your manager. Isn't that right? Yeah. And I'm supposed to specify whether you can go out or not. Well, sure. Oh, Harvey, I wouldn't do anything to hurt our chances. You'll dance until your legs are wobbly. You're right. I'll sit out every dance. That's twice as tiring. Harvey, I'll be home early. 11 o'clock? 11 o'clock. Scout's honor? Uh-huh. And if you're not home, can I come after you and bring you home? Scout's honor. Okay. Oh, Harvey, I'm, I'm sorry about all this. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> What's the difference, Joe? All I have to do is take off one plate. <laughs> Anyhow, it'll be good for you to relax and have some laughs. But don't, don't forget your promise. 11 o'clock. Okay, bye. Bye. Don't you remember me? Kathy Taylor, girl receptionist, Belle of the Links. Oh, yeah. Well, good evening. I better make that good night. I'm out of uniform. Oh, you're positively stunning. So what if you left your dinner jacket at home? I left it in Kansas City. But I could show you the pawn ticket. I believe you. Shall we dance? Only if I leave. You can leave. Good evening. about that dinner jacket in Kansas City. Waiting for you to come back and you never do. Don't let that upset you. I used to wear that when I was a singing waiter. It's full of beer stains in it. And powder too. And probably tears. Some poor girl waiting for you to come back and you never do. Better make that plural. Girls. Here we go again. Subtle female approach. Is he attached or unattached? Okay, so you don't like my approach. What's yours? Ready? Uh-huh. Step number one. Mm -hmm. Shall we get a breath of air? We shall. I'm uh, worried about step number two. Step number two, he sings a song at her. Well, I'll, uh, I'll brace myself. Promise to catch me if I faint? I promise. You're the right one, yes, the right one. I have never been so sure of anyone before. You're the first time and the last time. You're the one time. There'll be no more You're the star That always seems so far But darling, here you are For all the world to see 
so if you love me say you love me oh I know that you're the right one for me you're the star that always seems so far but darling here you are for all the world to see so if you love me say you love me Take me there? No. Good. I live next door. Come on, let's go. Oh, no, look, Harvey, I am... Oh, come on, <laughs> Mr. Will you please? Here, I... easy. I... You take your pants and your shoes. I... Oh, no, easy now. Come on. Oh, no, what... <laughs> Where you been, but at least you came home with first prize. Joe! Sing it again! How about another chorus? Sing it again! Not a cloud in sight, the sun's just right, the world's a bright bouquet. It's a wonderful kind of whistling kind of morning. Oh, life is sweet, as sweet as people make it. So tweet your tweet and hear the robin say, okay, get a happy go lucky feeling. Come live it up while you may. Harvey. Joe, do you realize it's after 11 o'clock? So what? Well, you promised, Joe. You promised what? Well, you promised you'd be home at 11 o'clock. Now, it's after 11 o'clock. Harvey, I'm in the middle of a song. Well, I'm sorry, Joe. You said you were going to come home. Stop the music. Stop the music. Now, say good night to everyone. Good night to everyone. Good night, you all. Good night, everyone. Harvey. Good night. <laughs> you are very rude and impolite, sir. What are you laughing at? You. <laughs> well, don't. You may have a child of your own someday. What's the matter with you, Harvey? You shouldn't yell at these people. They belong here and you don't. Yeah, well, they shouldn't laugh at me, Joe, because I'm trying to take good care of you. I appreciate that, Harvey, but I have to finish the song. We can't be impolite and leave now. You could if you wanted to. The music. It's a whistling hey, kind hey, of morning. Stop pulling It's a whistling go. kind of day. It's the crooniest, tooniest, juniest day to sing. Not a cloud in sight, the sun's just right, the world's a bright bouquet. It's a wonderful kind of whistling kind of morning. Oh, life is sweet, the sweetest people make it. 
So treat your tweet and your the Robinson. Okay, get a happy, good, lucky feeling. Come and live it up while you may. It's the dilliest, dalliest, palliest day today. It's a wonderful kind of whistling kind of morning. Oh, what a morning. Oh, what a morning. It's a wonderful kind of whistling kind of day. <laughs> this is Tom Harmon announcing the final round of the Santa Barbara Open. Bell is now making his approach to the green. He shoots, it's a beautiful high pitch shot, rolling. It stops four feet on the other side of the pin. One putt and he's in and there goes the old ball game. Oh, I don't you believe it, Joe. It just takes a little courage plus a cool head. Now lay one up there. You can do it, champ. Hey, Anthony, it's your shot. Wait a minute, Joe. Come on, Anthony, you're holding up the game. Now, see here, boy, that's not allowed. Oh, I beg your pardon, sir. In the event a limb is endangering the contestant's eyesight, said limb may be removed, uh, removed. Ruled by Jock McRae, August 23rd, 1886, at Inverness, Scotland. Is there such a rule? Certainly there is. Now, if you'll excuse us, please. Please. Harvey, is there such a rule? I don't know. <laughs> Go ahead, Joe. Joe Anthony's next shot, and it's a very difficult shot. He lines up his shot. He shoots. It's a beautiful high approach. It's rolling, it's rolling, it's rolling. It breaks, it's in the cup. The winner of our tournament, you were invited to compete in the $10,000 Invitational to be held at Monterey week after next. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Good luck, Joe. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. Until then, you'll be my house guest at Carmel. No, or yes. Yes. And last, but certainly not least, the club's check for $500. Thank you. Five, bravo! $500, paid in full. <laughs> for the last 10 years, it has been the custom for the winner to turn over the check to our charity fund. I know Mr. Anthony would insist on following this noble tradition. Certainly. Thank you from all of us. And boy, when you sank it, that was really something, Joe. My dad couldn't have done better. No, it was nothing. It was really nothing. But how is Charity going to get Pop off the hook for the $500 he owes on the new boat? And furthermore, how are we going to eat? Well, Joe, money's not the important thing. It's the fact that now you're on your way. I sure am. And now we're invited to play in a tournament, and that's $10,000 we can keep. Joe Anthony? Yeah. Sign this, please. See you ready, autograph hunters. What is this? Compliments of the Santa Barbara Businessmen's Association. Look. Hey, Joe, look at these golf balls. You look at them. Look at this complete outfit. Give those boys a handsome tip. Here you are. No, keep it. And thanks very much for your trouble. Thanks for the gift. Wise guy. Anthony, you old hound dog, you. See, Joe, what golf can do for you? And back in San Francisco, we can live at home and practice with all these golf balls. We're going to have to catch up on a short game. Remember, you can't count on luck all the time. What do you mean, luck? Oh, I'm sorry. Luck? Travel well deluxe. I certainly intend to. Harv? Oh, yeah. And by the way, I'm not going to San Francisco. You're not going home? I'll practice every day. The country club is right nearby. Nearby what? Kathy Taylor's home in Carmel. <laughs> Joe, we can't take a vacation now. Our whole future's at stake. I just won a tournament, didn't I? Yeah, but not against Hogan or Sneed. That's who you're gonna have to play at Monterey. Look, Harvey, I've never met a Kathy Taylor before. And I like her. I'm human. Okay. I'll go to her place. Remember, Joe, you have to practice every day. Uh, Harvey... One of us has to go home and tell the folks how we're doing. Well, gee, Joe, San Francisco's out of the way if we're going to Carmel. We ought to... I guess you're right. One of us will have to go home and let the folks know how we're doing. 
I'll meet you in Monterey the morning of the qualifying round. Okay, you take the clubs and I'll give the folks your love. You take the rest. Oh, that's Kathy. Sounds like she has a cold. Well, I'll see you in a week. Okay. That's yours. Thanks. Okay, now you send the rest of my things home, huh? Okay. Bye. Bye. Hi, Kathy. Let's go, champ. Be right with you. Well, let's go. How do you like that? I almost ran off without giving any money to my caddy. I knew you changed your mind. We're still buddies. Sure, we're buddies. How much money we got? Oh, we have uh, 10, 20, 30, 35, 36 dollars and 50 cents. We're rolling in dough. What'd you get? Oh, I had you in a caddy spool, but I spent three dollars and sixty-nine cents on the party for you. Look, Harvey, I can't go up there broke. I'll hang on to the thirty, and you keep the rest for food and bus fare. Oh, don't mention it. You're entitled to it. enjoy yourself. Joe, don't thank me. Have a good time. Bye. Bye. Carmel or Indianapolis. What would your mother say if she saw you driving like that? I don't know. Why don't you ask her? Hello, dear. Hello, Mother. Say hello to Joe Anthony. Hello, Joe Anthony. Hello, Mother. Oh, don't you dare. My name is Grace, and I lie about my age. Hello, Grace. <laughs> hello. Joe just won the tournament. Well, good for Joe. Wonderful. Well, come along. <laughs> Can't you piggies be quiet? <laughs> this is the Taylor State. Oh, just a second. I'll get my thing. Thank you, Mr. Farmer. Oh, don't 
be selfish. I don't want any of your hay. You can have that. Can I just please have a carrot? <laughs> Thank you. You're very kind. Won't you have a little scramble, Meg? You have absolutely nothing on your plate. Well, I can hardly listen. Yes, Lisa. Eight thirty. Oh, thanks, Rodney, for waking me up. I gotta get these pups to Joe right away. Good morning. Thanks again, Rodney. I'll see you soon. Watch my thing, huh? Thanks. Oh, how am I gonna get out of here? so I brought him to him so we could practice. Mr. Anthony is out cycling with Miss Taylor. I'll take them. Well, no, I wanted to see... No, I... Hello, doggies. I I'm not the same fella. If you don't believe me, take a, take a sniff. See? The guy you want is still inside. Hey, what are you doing out here? You're not supposed to be with the guest. Come on with me. Hardly lifted now. Uh, uh, well, forget all about your diet, everybody. Food. Oh, food, food, food. I'm kind of worried about it. I'm sure you're quite all right. Good morning, Mr. Good morning. Splendid morning. Splendid. Well, wonderful morning, and it's the best time to get up is in the morning, isn't it? <laughs> Breakfast, sir? Sure! I mean, uh, yes, I suppose I might have a bite. Yes, so what might I serve you, sir? Oh, uh, the sausages are fine. Oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, the, and ham, ham for the morning is just wonderful. Oh, uh, eggs with it. Oh, nothing like eggs with it in the morning. <laughs> oh, and a muffin. That is very nourishing. Bacon, bacon, wonderful. Oh, wonderful. Fine. How about just one more for the road? W one more. Yeah. Oh, oh la lamb chops are very uh, nourishing in the morning. Yeah, I'll take that. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Oh, buns. Buns. Yeah. Ah, little buns. Little ones. Oh, yes. I love baby buns. Uh -huh. We missed some there. You're cold. You're getting warmer. Warmer? What? No, you're cold. You were warm. Yeah. Hot. Kippers. I just adore kippers. Mmm. Potatoes, sir. Potatoes? Want me to ruin my waistline? Oh, sorry, sir. Oh. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> uh, shall we start over? Oh, no. No, no, I'll, I'll have to get some warm plates. Well, warm, warm plates? Yes. Uh, but I'll be here. I'll be here waiting. Oh, the appetite. 
How do you do? Oh, hello. With all the excitement of arriving yesterday, I don't believe we've met. Thank you. Although you do look familiar. My name's Bentall, Sidney Bentall. The name's Miller, Harvey Miller, Jr. Hmm. May I present Miss Carlton, Miss Kennedy? Miss Carlton, Miss Kennedy. Mr. Miller. How do you do, Miss? Oh, no, that's Mr. Laurent. Awfully pleased to know you. Awfully. But I have seen you somewhere before. I have never been there before. At the uh, golf tournament dance. At Santa Barbara. Uh, Santa Barbara? You are right. It was Santa Barbara. It could not have been Santa Barbara. Well, who are you? Who am I? Where are you from? Where am I from? Gentlemen, from Miami to London, from London to Boston, I'm known as the Gay Continental. Continent, continent, continental. And I got this way quite accidental. All my people have riches and velveteen breeches and white tie and tails and top hats on. And top hats and top hats and top hats on. And they breakfast in bed with their spats on. Life's a bore. Having cocktails and tea around for. We fiddle dee dee. I keep drinking as long as they're free. Now my old family tree is so precious to me. It's the sturdy old tree I was sprung from. I was sprung, I was sprung, I was sprung from. Tis the tree that my grandpa was hung from. Though I can't pay my rental, a gay continental am I. <laughs> supposed to be in San Francisco. Don't you know these people are all invited guests? Consider yourself invited, Harvey. I'm glad you're here. Oh, thank you. We can use you. Can't we, Mother? Why, of course. Until the tournament starts, you can earn some money. Charles, with so many extra guests, we'll need another man. Charles will take care of you. Oh, you don't understand. Joe and I... Well, I think that's very sweet of Mrs. Taylor. But, Joe, we gotta practice. You're very conscientious, Harvey, but... Don't overdo it. Come along, boy. Now, go along, boy. Really a very nice boy. Of course he is. This part of the letter from Harvey. Oh. He say, Joe won at Santa Barbara. And we play again soon at the $10,000 Monterey tournament. So who says he's going to win? I say so. 
I don't believe. I attach. But wait, Mr. Spizzato. Uh, I'll get Harvey on the phone. That's a good idea, Lisa. Well, I thought about it, Joe. Oh, I know. Worse time, Steph. Get the winners. <laughs> Would you like something to eat, ma'am? Why not try one of these? They're very good. I just had one. You might as well take a handful, lady. Supper ain't gonna be ready for at least a half hour. I don't know how you can fill up on these tiny sandwiches. Would you like to have one? No, thank you. No, thank you. A phone call for Mr. Harvey Miller, Jr. Oh, that's me. Would you please pass these around? Uh, thank you. And uh, watch the man with the beard. He's already had seconds. Push the celery. We can't get rid of it. You can't use that phone. Hello? It works? Hello, Lisa. How are you? Uh, you? You'll have to talk a little louder, sweetheart. We're having a party here. Mr. Spizzato's here, and he's worrying about his money. He wants either his $500 or the restaurant. Hello, Mr. Spizzato. Oh, Joe's a cinch. It's in the bag. Oh, yes, sir. He's in great shape. Would you give me that phone? Lisa, this phone call is swack. Swack. S-W-A-K. Sealed with a kiss. Oh. Here, give me that. Take this and get in there with it. You're nasty. Oh. Cheers. Just 68 and a half more hours before a certain tournament. I I'll take this glass for you, sir. What's that look like, a finger bowl? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I thought it was empty. I I'll get your fresh finger bowl. The heat's on. Shut it off. Uh, how about a sandwich, sir? It'll be much better for you than a drink. Uh, vitamins, you know. I'd much rather have a drink. Uh, we're all out of gin, oh, sir. that's impossible. There's plenty. Yeah. Oh, what are you... Oh, <laughs> yes. <We're... coughs> Is that boy one of our regular servants? Well, he's my caddy, Mr. Taylor. Kathy gave him a temporary job. Uh, caddy? Oh, you're the lad who won the tournament at Santa Barbara. Grace told me all about you. Here's luck. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry your glass is empty. I'll send Charles. Better leave the whole tray here, Charles. Been off my game for quite a while now. Shooting in the 90s. <clears throat> oh, uh, will you have a cigarette? Thank you. Uh, here's a line. I filled this glass, didn't I, Kathy? Yes, you did. I put the tray down there, didn't I? Yes, you did. Everybody else is drunk. If you'd have gone to San Francisco like I told you to, this wouldn't have happened to me. Well, I'll apologize to everybody. I know I embarrassed you. You certainly did. Well, tell them all I'm not a servant. I'm your friend, Joe. I I'm, I'm your pal. I'm gonna be your brother-in-law. Brother-in-law? Naturally. That's why I want to protect him. That's why I want him to win the tournament, naturally. 
for Lisa's sake. Lisa? Naturally. Oh, boy, Joe, Lisa called on the telephone and she sent you her love. You spoke out of time? Just in time. Charles, Charles, announce dinner, please, please. Dinner is served. Thank you, darling. Well, hold that, Frank, for this. I I'm going to take care of dinner is served. Hurry up, oh, no. everybody. Oh, no. Come on, it's going to get cold. Oh, it's not. Hurry up, the last one is a rotten egg. Oh, I can't have Come it. on, everything's going to get cold and you won't have another seat. What am I going to do? Everybody, hurry. Oh, there goes my oh Charlie. Will you get out of here? Here. Harvey's got things all mixed up. He's going to be your brother-in-law, isn't he? Well, sure. And Lisa's going to be the blushing bride. Yes, but you don't... He doesn't have things mixed up as far as I'm concerned. Your faith in me is very touching. Thanks. Come in, Joe. Harvey? Oh, Miss Taylor, hello. Oh, you shouldn't have done it. Take this. Thank you. And then this. <coughs> Thank you. What's all this? Oh, I've caused you enough trouble, Miss Taylor. Oh, well, it's not your fault, Harvey. I hope that Joe and Lisa will be very happy together. Oh. oh, they will be. She likes him. It's always my big brother this and my big brother that. Well, I've never thought of him as the big brother type. Well, you would if you were his sister like Lisa. Her sister? Joe's her sister? No, Joe's her brother. You're all confused, Miss Taylor. Oh, my dear brother-in-law. Charles? Where's Mr. Anthony? Oh, are you sure? Thank you. Joe's gone. Joe's gone? Yes. He can't be. What about the tournament? What are we gonna do? I'll help you find him, Harvey. But then it's every man for himself. Thanks. You're heading for San Francisco? Your name's Joe Anthony? Yeah, what's wrong? Let's take a look at that bag. Hey, what are you doing? That's mine. Inverness Open Tournament. Winner, Harvey Miller Sr. Thought your name was Anthony. It is. That cup was given to me. This is my bag and these are my clothes. This is my cap. We can see that. Come on, get in. Oh, do come in, please. Well, here he is, miss. We found him. He had Mr. Miller's suitcase, all right. Ah, oh, yes, mm-hmm. Kathy, will you tell him the truth? I think you gentlemen had better speak to Cousin Harvey. Cousin Harvey! Yes, Kathy, darling. Coming, my dear. Oh, visitors. Pretty nice. <laughs> oh, 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 Scotland Yard. See you come at the crazy kid. Splendid, splendid. Good heavens, it's Joe the gardener. Sorry to disturb you, Mr. Miller, but he tried to tell us it was his bag. <laughs> <laughs> ridiculous, ridiculous. <laughs> watch him, watch him. Well, he's not a bad boy, officer. He's just mischievous. I don't think Cousin Harvey wants to prosecute. Do you, Cousin Harvey? As long as he doesn't give me any trouble. <laughs> I'll give you plenty. You've got your gun. Keep your eye on him. You better behave yourself, young man, or these nice police officers will throw you in the pokey. <laughs> you can run along, gentlemen. Leave him here, and I'll give him a stern talking to. Well, it's all right, know. and uh, 
Send me a dozen tickets to the policeman's ball. Thank you, Mr. Miller. It's all right. Bully, bully. <laughs> Splendid. Help! What is What's wrong? Good evening. <laughs> Make that uh, two dozen tickets. Thank you, sir. That's right, all right. Good night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, if you could only see your face. Very funny. Now that you've had your fun, can I go? Wait, Joe. Everything's straight. Kathy knows it's me Lisa was gonna marry and not you. Everybody's happy. I'll get your clubs. I'm very sorry. It was just a misunderstanding. Oh, sure. I... You'll need these. What good are they gonna do me on a fishing boat? Oh, but I didn't tell you the bad news. No, you didn't. About Mr. Spazzato. He's gonna take Mama's restaurant and Papa's boat away. If they don't pay him the $500, we gotta win the $10,000. I'll get it. Wait, Joe, we're a team. We were a team, and you stay away from me. Joe. I thought it took at least two to make a team. That's what I thought. Do you break up a team by just walking out? I'm very sorry, Harvey. Well, if it isn't the little hitchhiker. So you're stealing golf bags now. Oh, no, not again. All right, sticky fingers. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to the Monterey Invitational Tournament. I don't see him anywhere, Harvey. Leading off in the first possum, the winner of the first Los Angeles Open Tournament, Light Horse Harry Cooper. <laughs> Urgent message for Miss Kathy Taylor. Miss Kathy Taylor, port to the clubhouse telephone. Miss Taylor? Yes, I am. Telephone. Hello. Yes, I'm Kathy Taylor. You're Kathy Taylor. I'm Joe Anthony, and I'm in jail. Joe! Joe! He's in jail. Oh. Jail? Well, Joe, Joe, Joe. Oh, 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 oh. Quiet, please. Now, listen, if this is another one of your gags that isn't funny, tell it to them. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. He's sorry. Well, hurry. They can get him here in 15 minutes. Huh? He tees off in the next foursome. He can't possibly make it. He'll be disqualified. Disqualified? On the tee. Salmon Sammy Sneed. Oh. On the tee. If we could only do something to delay them. Jimmy Thompson. What if I fainted or had a spell right on the tee? Oh, no, that's no good. You don't know professional golfers. They're like killers. They play right over your body. That gives me an idea. Hey, mister! Excuse me, sir. Mr. Thompson, is this your ball? Yeah. It's undersized, against regulation. It couldn't be. I just bought it inside. Oh. Uh, do you have a knife? No. Uh, how about you? Do you have a knife? Yeah. M may I borrow it? Could, could you open it, please? Uh, just open it. I'd like to examine it. Thank you very much. It's getting late, isn't it? <laughs> Point three nine six two. Perfect. Here you are, Mr. Thompson. Hit away. Is he with you? I thought he was with you. Who are you with? Oh, I'm with you. Get off the tee! <laughs> Ball, please. <laughs> no funny stuff while I drive, please. Uh, certainly not, Ben. Certainly not. On the tee! Phantom Ben Hogan. Here he is, Miss Taylor. Thank you. Oh, Joe, 
I'm so glad it's you're all right. Trying... If I take my clubs now, sure. On the tee, Joe Anthony from San Francisco. I'm Joe Anthony. You're just in time. You're on the tee right now. Can I have a caddy? Well, I'm sure there's been one assigned to you. Hello. Look, I don't want... He doesn't want to delay the game any longer, so we'll tee off in just a minute. Would you excuse us, please? We, we have work to do. Would you please? Thank you very much. Look, Harvey, will you... Uh, yes, I've been examining the course, sir. Yes, sir, and this is a very narrow hole, and I suggest we start with the three wood. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the drive. All right, here you are. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, it was your wash from the motel. I had nowhere to put it. Give me a ball, Harvey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No ball. Why don't you try your pocket? Oh, yeah. Sorry, Joe. Be quiet. Not funny. Sorry. It's an eight iron, Joe. I don't want the eight iron. You better listen to him, Joe. Will you give me the six iron? Harvey, this is the eight iron. That's the club you should use. Give me the six iron. <laughs> Joe, that's the wrong club, Joe. Yeah, Harvey, that's not the right. One more disturbance, Mr. Anthony, and I'll be forced to disqualify you. I'm sorry, sir. It was all my fault. I won't make any more noise. Well, see that you don't. It's Fisherman's Wharf. They brought everything but the dock. Ten thousand dollars. There's Harvey and Joe. Wait for the dock. Joe, we've come all the way from San Francisco to see you win. Pop, why did you drive on the golf course? I see a big sign on the house that says driving range, so I drive in. Anthony, I warned you, you're disqualified. Oh, no way, please. Joe's got to play or we'll lose the Mama Mia and Mama Anthony's restaurant. You can't disqualify Joe. You cannot throw my Joe out of the game? They're not going to play without Joe. We'll move the trucks out ourselves. You'll move for nothing. We want to see our job plan. Harry, call the police. All right, call the police. Big shot. Now, you get off the course. Hey, don't you push on me. I'm pushing on you. You're not going to let them disqualify Joe, are you, Mr. Hogan? Well, I'm sorry. That's up to the officials. Oh. Well, if Joe's not going to play, nobody's going to play. Come on, Mama. Go in the car. But where is the papa? Papa! Papa! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this ain't funny! You're crazy for wasting your time playing golf. We've had just about enough of it. You know, you guys could have a great future in show business. Show business? Come on! Here, take my car and look me up. All right, come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> Joe! Hey, hey, Officers, it was those two. I Come ain't, on! I ain't a scared. They did this.
we are seen with the one that I adore. Yes, I like the funny feeling that I never felt before. But if you should say you like it, then I like it even more. There's so many, many little likes I'm always dreaming of. And it takes a lot of little likes to make one. What would I do without you? What would I do, boy? What would I do without you? What would I do? I need a partner. You're the one. I'll be right there when the show goes on. I'm for you. I'm for you. From California to Kalamazoo. What would I do without you when you're gone? When you're gone. When you're gone. Oh, what would I do without you? What would I do? Let's hurry, boys. Ten minutes before the train time. Come on, Jim. Ten I got my story. Oh, that's well. Thank you. Let's go, fellas. You can pick up your keys at the desk. You got a tough act to follow. Hurry, Joe. We haven't got much time. We'll miss the train. Lisa and Gathy will meet us backstage. What are your names? I'm Dean Martin. And I'm Jerry Lewis, Martin and Lewis. Here, close the door. I'm in my birthday suit. What's the matter with him? I don't know. I was. How about me? So were you, Joe. You were marvelous. Joe? That's me. Harvey? That's me! lucky can two guys get? Yeah, we got a real bad, ain't we, Dean? Yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs>